In this module, we'll learn about how to add tracker domain in your Pardot account. This is also good to have. Uh, when it comes to any marketing campaign, marketing asset, it could be a form or landing page, or you're sending a brand new list email. It is very much important to host those marketing assets on a tracker domain. So tracker domain acts as a vanity URL or kind of it gives the visitor a seamless transition between your hosted page, forms, and your product assets. So it's X, it, you know, you can use the tracker domain to showcase your company brand, right? So whatever marketing asset, if they're accessing, they'll see your company brand in the URL. So the tracker domain, AKA C name, is essentially a mask that you place over your market product asset. So when we're talking about product assets, it could be a form, landing page, anything. So they are branded with your company name instead of product. So that's the main um, goal of having a tracker domain in Pardot. And it is very much important because even if you're going for an email, right, and if, if that uh, email has a link or whether it's, it's a link redirect or something, that link or link to redirects must be hosted on a tracker domain to get the better personalization or to get the better uh, reporting for that. So how to set this up? In Pardot, we have two steps for this. First is creating a C name record on, on your DM, DNS. Again, for setting up the tracker domain, you need to work with your IT team or hosting provider who is taking care of your um, Com website, right? Company website. So this this will be a C name entry, not a TXT or text entry. So the C name record in your DNS. Unlike the email sending domain configuration, this will be a TXT. This will not be a TXT entry, but rather a C name entry. This is very much important. You know, you might be wondering how to decide the tracker domain, right? So it may look something like that, right? <clears throat> so popular option include like go.yourdomain.com, www.yourdomain.com, or marketing.yourdomain.com. It could be anything you can append with your um, root domain. Now, this C name entry, which you'll be, uh, you know, putting at your DNS, right, will need to point to go.pardot.com if you're setting up the tracker domain for your Pardot production. But if you're setting up the Pardot tracker domain for your Pardot sandbox, then it should point to go.demo.pardot.com. And the second will be, a D, again, a TXT entry. And to get the value, we need to head to the Pardot or Pardot Lightning app. So let's see this in action. So once you are in your Pardot Lightning app, click on this Pardot settings, uh, navigate to this domain management. Once you're on this page, you should see this tracker domain. Just click on this tracker domain, right? Again, it could be anything. For example, let's say I'm putting go.udummydemo.com, right? I click on create a tracker domain. The moment I've created this tracker domain, right? It is asking like, or there's something like validation key and status. Now, to successfully authenticate or validate this tracker domain, we need to do two things. One is the CNAME entry for this tracker domain, which should go to go.com. 
perda.com and this will be a CNAME entry at your DNS level. And second, there will be a TXT entry with this value. Once you have these two entry, one is CNAME and one is TXT at your DNS level, of course you'll be working with your IT team or hosting provider, just click on validate. And this would be, once it, if it is very validated, well and good. Now, if it is validated, it means this has been done correctly. But how to check if CNAME has been done correctly or not? If that's the case, you can simply copy this tracker domain which you have created, open a blank you know, um, uh, browser wind tab, type in here and click on this uh, enter. If it is going to your website, right, that's well and good. If it is not going to your website, it means CNAME entry has not been configured correctly. So again, you need to connect with your um, IT team or hosting provider to get things done. In Now, in case, I mean, if you manage to um, complete the CNAME entry successfully, you validated this key with a TXT entry at your DNS, now these two things is very much important. HTTPS and SSL status. So make sure like you have enabled the tracker domain to serve on HTTPS and you also enable the SSL, right? So this would be the next step, right? You can click on this, you can click on validate, invalidate, or you can put that primary or something like that. So you might be wondering where this will be used, right? So whenever you'll be creating any marketing asset in Pardot, for example, if I'm going to content, right? If I'm going to content, I'm creating any form, right? And if you click on this form, see, we have this tracker domain, right? we have this tracker domain. If you're going to form handler, you'll see, we, I mean, there will be a requirement to have a, um, a tracker domain. And the URL for this marketing asset will be decided on the basis of this tracker domain. So whenever you'll be navigating or your visitor or your potential customer is navigating or going through or interacting with any of your marketing asset, it will showcase your brand. 